I mean, really, really need to take things seriously and not very lightly. Was fortunate enough that I bumped into you during that point of time, and I broke down all the chapters in a way that you know I do remember people talking about that this is just a cakewalk for whosoever has done a chartered accountancy from India. <laughs> Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Tingra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Welcome, welcome friends, welcome to the another episode of CPA Success Stories. Yes, my friend, this is the series wherein we call upon our students, our students who have done the CPA and now are hitting the market in the best possible way. They are now the veterans in the market and are doing very well. Today I have with me our dearest student. His name is Samarth Kohli. He is now the associate director with the KPMG and is a qualified CPA with us. He has done wonders, my friend, in terms of his journey. And I met him in a recent event and invited him to be here and talk to you to share his journey so that we can really take something out of it, understand from it, learn from it, and implement it, replicated it into our our CPA journey. This is for you, my friend, to make sure that you learn from the industry veteran and do your CPA as soon as possible. Should we go and see him and talk to him? Yes, sir. But before really going there, I really want you to subscribe to our channel for keep getting these informative videos. And if you are liking it, then do press the like button too. Should we go and meet Samarth? Yes, sir. All righty. Hi, Samarth. A very good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking our time and, and being here. Uh, it is absolute pleasure. And, you know, of course, I'm seeing you for a very long time, after a very long time. So, you know, glad to see you and glad to have you back in the class. Yeah. Good evening, Pankaj. Pankaj, sir. I know it's it's been a while since we met in person or virtually. But glad to see you. I could relate back to those days when I was pursuing my CPA. All I could think about is, you know, having someone you know, really help me out in terms of figuring it out what to do, how to go about it. Yeah, but yeah, glad to see you after so, so long. You know, I think pleasure is all all mine. Uh, you know, having uh, meeting students after such a such a long time and, you know, now now that you have really progressed very, very well in, in what you have been doing, we thought that it is all the more imperative and important that you should be here. And, uh, you know, let's have a chat in terms of knowing more about yourself. Maybe your journey can really help the folks uh, understand, uh, you know, why and how CP has been helping people around the world. And what has been your journey? What did you do the way you do or you did? Uh, how and they, they can learn from it. They can understand from that. And probably they can uh, replicate the best practices. And, you know, rest is just going to be the history. So we thought that, you know, let's just just you know have have that discussion so without wasting any time i'll probably start off uh, samarth you know knowing more about yourself while i know uh, it all but i really want it to come from you uh, just why don't you just give some introduction about yourself and then we'll kick start from there yeah sure yeah so i uh, i'm samarth kohli uh, as you know me from for a long time i am a very much a typical Delhiite. I've been born and brought up in Delhi. I live with my family. You know, when I met you, I was just a student. <laughs> Today, I am married. I have a son. I'm quite settled in life. Uh, and uh, in terms of uh, work-wise, uh, I am currently working at uh, KPMG as an associate tax director. Right? It's I have been working uh, for quite some time now it's been almost i think 16 years since i've been working in the industry in this particular mnc scenario in the worst of this world i've seen a lot of things happen did a lot of mistakes learned a lot but i think i feel that i have a good sense of achievement from what i started off with and today what i have with me in terms of my career and obviously beyond today as well so that's pretty much a brief introduction about myself. That that was pretty modest, uh, Samartha. I can tell you this because uh, you know reaching uh, a a big for associate director in 14, 15 years of time 
and of course doing what you have been doing where you started off i know where you started off so i can i can completely correlate to that fact in terms of you know what you have achieved so uh, i would say many congratulations for that in terms of you know where you have come and i think there are miles to go right before before you know there there are there is a lot that that is bound to come and you know yeah. should be in the pipeline and i'm sure you know uh, it's it's going to be a rocking one but samarth just for the sake of uh, uh, i would say having a perspective about your decision to do uscpa uh, what did you do before doing uscpa and what motivated you to start off your cpa sure um i was uh, doing my bcom at the time that's it's, if i go back in time it was 2005 and 6 year i mean i hail from a business family right so and none of uh, my family members or even my closest of friends were uh, aware about this qualification or this degree or certification called cpa back those days it started off with a very funny anecdote that i might share with you and i went up to my father and told him that i want to do cpa and back those days uh, i used to read a lot of things on education times i wanted to get into mba etc there's a lot of things that go on in people's head a student's head during that point of uh, that stage of life i walked up to my father and told him that i want to do cpa and explained him the full form and i told him that in the exams and everything happens in the us and he just funnily laughed at me and says uh, ये कौन सा फेक कोर्स पकड़ लिया तूने ये अखबारें पढ़ पढ़ के व्हाट हैव यू लर्न आई मीन इन अ फनी वे बट इवेंचुअली जस्ट हैपेंड आई मीन वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स आई वाज फॉर्चूनेट इनफ टू एट लीस्ट हैव अ फ्रेंड ऑफ लाइक दैट आई डोंट नो हु काइंड ऑफ जस्ट ब्रीफली टोल्ड मी अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वालिफिकेशन एंड बैक दोस डेज व्हेन देयर वर हार्डली एनी अकाउंटेंट्स नॉट द सीएस बट यू नो द इंटरनेशनल अकाउंटेंट्स that is how this idea popped up and i thought maybe let let me uh, pursue this and uh, talking about my own journey I, i was a very mediocre student i would very modestly and openly talk about it until my class 10th i was just a very mediocre student but when i took up the accountancy at as my major in 11th and 12th you know i it just you know made me feel that i could do more in in studies so accountancy and and, and business etc was quite in my blood at that point of time i thought i'll go ahead and pursue this career and that is how i decided to do pursue pursue cpa i i remember you uh, if if i'm not uh, you know forgetting i remember you coming to my home that point yeah. in time and we having that discussion that you know how would cpa help you because yeah. uh, you were contemplating on that and uh, having and and, take, and in the verge of taking that as a decision and uh, reinforcement was needed for you to really exactly. take, take this step yeah. and go on and i come from the same business family i can completely correlate you know all of our fathers and forefathers and family members for them all of these qualifications are are not something they are very well aware of right so taking this kind of a decision and you know it's a us qualification you and that point in time you had to go to us hmm. set up the exam and it's it's all in the air and you know parents would not understand at least to that an extent to which we understand now considering yeah. they have gone through that cycle and have seen that so completely completely correlate to that and i really um you know honestly i really feel proud because that day what i suggested you you know i still remember in my drawing room that you know this is what it's going to be for you it is exactly. reality so uh, it it really makes me and it really honestly give, give me goosebumps also that you're sitting now and i'm talking to you uh, you know especially uh, calling you that you know yes we should do this and you know this is, this will be really good for the folks and the fraternity at large so yeah. i i am glad that you know you, you did make it out you took the decision of of course doing cpa you mm-hmm. started off cpa you did the research how difficult it was you did your bcom and now you started off cpa how difficult it was and how much time it it took you uh, to complete that sure sure um this there was always a, a discussion happening in the classroom at that point of time and i was fairly new 
to this particular, as I said, I was very fairly new to this environment of, you know, having pursuing these higher studies and coming together with those folks who were already working as managers and beyond in, in many large multinational firms, they were all discussing about how good or how effective this particular exam or this particular course is going to be for their careers, etc. I do remember people talking about that this is just a cakewalk for whosoever has done a chartered accountancy from India and they will be able to clear it like, you know, you know it's, it's like a left hand thing for them to just to do it and in a jiffy, right? But I took it very uh, seriously. As I earlier mentioned that I was very mediocre student, but I happened to you know develop this liking for studies. I did spend good amount of time learning, you know, going through the material, you know, studying day in day out about it. So I won't call it a very easy. Uh, exam because I remember a lot of CA folks during that time had flunked in almost all the four parts of CPA and uh, yeah I think no exam is easy no exam is very difficult as well it's all in your head I mean really really need to take things seriously and not very lightly and I really was fortunate enough that I bumped into you during that point of time uh, Honestly, uh, the whole way of doing CPA, these uh, CDs and these mock exams, etc., that you know we used to go through these CDs, this this talk, this materials, etc. We are used to we in India were were and even now are used to having somebody on our head all the time to help us, you know, go through these materials, clear the exams, etc. You know, help us out in in solving problems. That's how we have been all brought up and grown up in, in our school and colleges, right? And that was a really missing piece when I was, when I started doing my CPA and, and I bumped into you. I mean, I cannot thank you enough for that handholding and, um, you know, explaining each and every line that was written in that book, right? That was the only time in my life I had read a sentence from the beginning till the book ends. And I've did that four or five times for all the four parts of my CPA uh, books and material at that point of time. So that kind of really helped me you know, to, to look at it from a perspective, not just cracking an exam, but also developing something in my head, what exactly I'm learning, what exactly I'm doing. Because it was very different from what I had done in my accountancy in college, BCom uh, days, and what it actually was. The US gap was fairly new to everybody. So it was completely different. What we cover in BCom course, it was still very detailed in, in, in CPA. So that's how it I happened. Could, and I couldn't agree more. You know, if, if somebody says that CPA is easy, I always say that, you know, you know, you're lying. If somebody says right. that it's a cakewalk, it's not, it's not a cakewalk. It's not a it's not an easy course. And the, you rightly pointed out that many of the chartered accountants, they they flunk and they still flunk. Flunk, I can tell you that. It's not. I remember in your class also. You know when, when I was there, there were like seven, eight qualified chartered accountants who failed that point in yes. time. Yes. And there were many BComs who cleared. You know, and the people who feel overconfident and those are mostly chartered accountants. And no offense to CAs. You know, I'm myself a qualified. You are CA. a CA as well, right? Uh, I personally feel that you know for CAs you need to be somewhat somewhere overconfident. Or I would say uh, you tend to be overconfident and then, you know, you lose out on marks. The ideal way to do it is to start from the scratch as if you don't know anything. As if, you know, it's a it's a plain slate and you'll be learning yeah. a particular subject. You'll be learning it in a particular way and you'll be, you know, understanding it from the scratch and then moving it on, which generally BCom student does because, you know, they, they're any which ways having a... Uh, you know, some kind of a complex that, you know, we have to do more, we have to do more. And, you know, that is what they really need to do. So they do well, not that CS are not doing well, but, you know, this is something, you know, which certainly they need to be aware of. Good point, Samarth. I think that this is something, you know, I would, I would say for all of the folks who are seeing us should take as a learning that yeah. it's not an easy one, but at the same point in time, you know, you have to uh, ensure that you're taking it on the piecemeal basis from the exactly. to really, really do wonders. One thing I really want to highlight over here, guys, is that I think Samarth did this exam and I also did that point in times. You know, Samarth did it, I think six, six seven years after me. 
and uh, the, that point in time exams used to be in us so you have to be in us and give all four exams in one go because it is too much of an expense to really go again and give those exams again now the students in india have the flexibility of giving it one by one right so you know you can plan one exam you can give that one exam because you only give it again giving, giving it in india you can plan other one and then give it one and so on and so forth so you have a big time advantage guys if you are really planning for your cpa curriculum uh, we didn't had it and i'm sure you know samarth also didn't had it that point in time but samarth you know it, it's all history now you know we we did what we did that point in time samarth coming on to one you know another important point um which you may want to throw some light on is uh, you you mentioned that you know you took the decision you were in the class you know you did what you did uh, and of course i i could support what i could support that point in time we did that we did that together how difficult was one subject over the other i would say what was the most difficult subject that you had i remember we had bc that point in time now bc doesn't have you know doesn't exist now bc far uh, audit and reg right. which one you found the the most difficult one and maybe why from my perspective from my standpoint uh, i found audit the <laughs> toughest i i guess so <laughs> i i found it the toughest you know uh, i mean it's it was all theory it was all theory you, know, you had to learn it you know step by step you had to go through the material in the entirety from start to end you ha- you really had to memorize that at that point of time and as i pointed out earlier we did not co- we do not cover in our curriculums in school or colleges these kind of subjects in gr- greater detail or depth that depth so audit was fairly very new i, I think i was doing it for the first time in my life as i, I can clearly say that because in in my bcom days i mean audit used to be a very thin book that in thin material and used to be included part of one of the subjects 10 or 20 marks of that i mean never paid attention to it but for when it come came to cpa it was really a, a great detailed walk through of the entire audit cycle audit process etc i think from my perspective that was the toughest exam i found that one of the i would say ditto you know on to that because i personally also feel audit is the toughest one of course the reason that you mentioned while you know it was not honestly the case with me because i did audit in c and that was pretty much detailed but one thing that really that really makes us something some somewhat somewhere uh, worried in audit is that in audit most of the answers that you would see are are right as in the four choices that you would see all four four answer choices are right it is very difficult at times to choose one of the wrong right. answers that you have over there and that is something you know i even i struggled you know to to an extent and you remember you i'm sure you know you would remember in the class also i used to like uh, apply the rule of elimination to tell you that you know these are the three right and wrong right. answer choices and this is the reason for it not that not that the fourth one is is absolutely right but fourth one is the least wrong i would say to be the answer which is which is what the rule of elimination is and which is what we all need to apply i mean we use it right now in the class also that you really have to know how to eliminate the wrong choices to Correct. get on to the right one yeah, yeah. i mean this there was those were the very uh, handy tips and tricks at that point of time during the class i i i remember that you know and just to make it a bit more positive i think you really had a very um, a very positive and a very good influence Uh, at that point of time, on me, and you know, the way you were managing the handling the students, their questions related to, or their ambiguity or their anxiety in terms of the exams, I think that really played an important role in my life. Today, when people reach out to me who want to pursue CPA, there's a n number of people reach out to me who I don't know, who friends of friends or you know, connections on LinkedIn, etc. I do not even know. I mean, the way I guide them, I think it it really had an impact the way you guided us at that point of time. your students i think that really has played a significant role in my shaping my my own personality and helping the students i was never a good teacher but that really helped me develop that skill as well thank you for that i think you know what is what is most important is that when you have an intent of telling someone that this is the you should do and when you have already done that yourself it it really motivates yeah. you to 
get on to the right fund and, and and get that going which which of course you know i did and i'm sure you're doing right now to ensure that the folks are really getting the best out of it one other thing uh some of that i have and it is again more to do with the with the subject uh and your preparation what was your strategy to prepare for these exams and then sit for the exam what strategy did you follow if you can share that i think that'll be good for the good for the folks who were really looking forward and and thinking about uh, giving the exam in the near term yeah so, so pankaj as you pointed out earlier that you know back those days we had to go to the us it was uh, a lot of expenses were involved you know lodging etc whatever it may take would have taken at that point of time so a lot of things were also coming to the head how do i prepare so that if i go to the us in one go i'll be able to clear the exams i think at the first step i took it very slow i was in no rush to 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 finish the exams in a, in a shorter span of time you know nothing was waiting for me ahead that you know i could have done so much at that point of time so i as a first step i took it very slow i thought you know let me let me spend good enough time in going through the materials in the entirety right and i broke down all the chapters in a way that you know if i complete one chapter at a time and then go about to maybe doing some questions at the back of the at, at the end of the chapter and then there were some mock tests that used to be there just to familiarize myself into how as to how this exam structure will look like when i land in the us and then i'll be prepared for that so i broke it down chapter wise and you know spent at least a week memorizing the entire chapter as well as, as when i say memorizing each and every sentence or every line of that particular chapter or a book had that significance you know while sitting in the mock exam something will pop up and you will say okay you have read that in a way you will be able to apply you know you have done the theoretical part of it you will be able to apply in a practical scenario when a solution or when a question comes up right so that's how i i took it and i really lengthen my my preparation period and i think somehow it is wise also right at times you don't have to be and many of the times you know students feel that they can just clear it in in just like this time which may not be possible because come what may it's not an easy one it really yeah. need practice you rightly mentioned that you know when you uh, started off saying that you know you practice the questions at least four five times which is and i keep saying that like a broken record even right right now in the classes that at least three times is something that they sh you should always always and always do uh, the questions and the content to make sure that you know you have a complete hang of it and that is how when you would sit in the exam you would get to understand that you know yes i have seen this question i have attempted this earlier and if you have practiced all the questions in the class and you have done the mocks uh, you have done the revision boot camps what we provide i think it really helps you to get the hang of the questions and at least know in terms of you know how to really handle that and that can there is no alternate to that else in practicing yourself there is no exactly. alternative to that right right you no know, practice 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 until you, you know, really get the hang of everything that you have studied or or read through in the materials so that's the only key which is any uh, you cleared all the four exams in first attempt or struggled with some i'll be very honest i as i said audit was the most difficult for me that was the one i i actually scored 65 and in in audit and fortunate for me i was still in the us and and i was with the family over there i have i have my you know my one of my elder brothers living in the us so i could uh, uh, extend my stay and you know prepare again and write the exam again so i could do it in in that particular window itself which is so that was the one plus which is a big plus right and yeah now it's a it's an even advantage for the folks over here in india because now you can plan your exam and it yeah. and give it any time right right i think that that's that's really important anything that uh, you want to call out on evaluation uh, uh, samarth because evaluation is also a big time piece of of cpa in terms of i mean uh, the, the the admin side of it the, the logistical side of it you know to to even be eligible to sit for the exam was the toughest thing i mean as i said we were all by ourselves no one there to help us out no one i mean not not not, not none of their fault as well it was fairly very new to the in india market as well people were not very much educated in terms of how to 
to help students uh, by step by step and you know be able to help them understand how to or which state to apply and how to go about it i mean that is where again you know when you were there in the class you know you were able to guide us so well in terms of the whole evaluation process i mean how to 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 get your certifications or your degree certified and, and evaluated and etc i think that particular step before even jumping on to cpa exam and maybe preparing for it that was the first process people should be doing i mean and that's that's one of the key aspects well, it does take a lot of your time i mean it it is i mean if i i don't know these days but it was purely a, a, at least eight week period during that particular it time is, it is the same now and you know yeah. the, in fact uh, process has, it has even become more cumbersome to an extent um, and we as i've been saying even to your class to you at that point in time even now we say the same thing that earlier you start your evaluation the better you are uh, i would say in in from the positioning standpoint better you are to really sit for the exam so this is something that you should really start and at fintram now we have the i would say the the dedicated uh, evaluation team now that really takes care of your credentials in terms of you know whatever your background is we do the pre evaluation in terms of assessing that you know who should do what and who should go from go from which state and all of that and also assessing that you know considering what are your business credits being available what are your accounting credits being available and then you know deciding on you know what is the best possible way out for you to really sit for the cpa exam and if there is no way out then you know finding out an, an alternate course of action for you whether it is a bridge course or whether it is something else that we can really help you out with you know to really be be there to kill the exam in the best possible way so you know that's that's something we really really you know even follow at this point in time Absolutely. i think i think broadly samarth i i covered everything that i really wanted to one last thing that i have and this is more coming from the from the student side of it is mm-hmm. any tips that you have for the students to really which would help them clear the clear the uh, cpa exam they have, you know your journey has been fantastic from a student to now an associate director in kpmg it's a fantastic i would say growth that that is being observed and i'm sure you know cpa has played a very critical role you know for, you know absolutely that. but if i really have to uh, ask you you know some of the tips that you would like to give up uh, to the students you know what would that be yeah i think the, the best privilege and advantage students nowadays have is the exams are happening in india so there's no pressure at least from one side that you know you really have to get the visa done and go to the us you know there's cost involved etc so the thing that's been taken care of I and mean, you have that privilege again as i said in my case i took it very slow right go by one exam by another right so don't r- rush to, to clear all the four parts in a you know, sp- shorter span of time let's say two to three months people do tend to you know over do themselves in, in terms of preparing and then being very confident that they'll be able to clear that in a shorter window um well i i would really uh, ask students and urge students to take it fairly slow take one exam by one and then you know prepare thoroughly until and unless you are at least 95% sure in your head that you will be able to clear that exam and i can give you one example of one of my colleague who is part of my team right uh, who's currently in the us i helped him you know a lot uh, in 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 preparing his cpa i had that particular as i said you know i had that influence of yours on me and then passing on to other students who were who are curious to do that course today is in the us you know i sent him on a secondment to the us and cpa is a must in the us if you are a particular at a particular level and you got you have to have a license to to be able to sign a tax return or an audit report so that's how you know he's been doing as well so i did urge him to to take it fairly slow and you know i mean the the, the best part of that is you know you have somebody to hand hold you and to talk to and then you you really understand the importance of of a guide uh, of a guide or a, or a mentor that you have like we had <laughs> you in in that time so that really helpful i think fantastic so if i really have to sum this up and some of you can add it on if i really have to sum this up guys don't be in hurry in terms of you know giving your exams preparation is going to be the key uh, and finding the right pathway is is the 
is the mantra to clear the clear the exam. The only thing that you need to do is uh, get the right guidance or a mentorship from someone. Fintram is certainly there to help you in your CPA journey. So you just have to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to pick you and guide you and of course mentor you in your entire CPA journey. We have been helping students around the world in terms of making them, them a qualified CPA and we can say it very proudly that um, you know, you can you can pick up any state, pick up any country. You know, we would have our student who is now a qualified CP and working out there, which is a big, big thing to, for for us to feel proud of. Like we have Samarth over here. What is really important is that you should follow the plan that is being given to you, or uh, the practice the questions in terms of you know really going through the depth and practicing of MCQs and the simulations is the key in the exam. The more you'll practice, the more edge you'll have, more confidence you would have. Uh, and some have quoted 95%. I think, you know, if you can have 95% confidence on the questions that are being given to you, God will not, God will also not be able to stop you because that's that's how it is, right? In the exam, you would you would certainly see that kind of an uh, advantage in the exam. So with all of this, I think if you can really have that strong plan for yourself and, you know, you can really give good amount of time to it, so US CPA is just in your hand and, you know, once you have it in your hand, then you know, then sky is the limit for the growth. We certainly have Samarth over here. Uh, my example is any which way is being shared with you. You know, whether it is Wipro, whether it is BlackRock, whether it is BCG, heading the finance of BCG was the last assignment that I had, uh, which is primarily if I really have to give a credit of the credit of the same. You know, CPA has really played a very important role there. So, I can all I can tell you is that growth is just not just not stopping uh, to any extent once you have a qualification like this and if you're thinking about it you know we will be more than happy to pick it up and have this journey starting right now uh, with that Samarth I really want to thank you uh, I think uh, uh, taking time out on Sunday is any which way is difficult for professionals like yourself but I'm glad that you uh, that you you know you were opened and you were very well uh, looking forward to talking to the students and helping them out so, you know, I think this is the best thing we can do as a professionals to the, you know, it's more like a give back to the students and the fraternity at large. So thank you very much, Samarth. It was always a pleasure to see you and um, and uh, we'll certainly catch up soon over a cup of coffee. Certainly. And we'll certainly. Well, pleasure is all mine. And thank you for having me here. I think this was in my entire career so far, this was the first time, you know, I am actually interacting with, with students in such a, such a scale. So thanks for giving me this opportunity to talk and share my experiences with you and, and the students of FinTram. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look forward. Thank you.